So it's Sunday morning here on the mountain. It's uh, the last, ooh, sorry, I got distracted by some, some deer over there. Sunday morning here on Montesano, and uh, it's time to pack up and get down off the mountain. It's the last day of the Huntsville Ham Fest, and I thought this would be a great time to do a Meshtastic radio check. So let's take a look at each of the devices and see how they did this weekend. So here are most of the devices that I was running this weekend. Let's see, let's start with the Trekker. Spec 5 Trekker, I have it turned off right now. I charged it overnight. Uh, this guy, was my oh let's see this was my evening radio so after i get back from the show and uh i was getting ready for the evening's activities i would clip that on my belt loop and that would carry me through the evening no secret on this it's a radio that's going to give you a few hours of run time but with the small battery and the and the Helltech radio, it's not going to last real long. But it performed just fine. Let's see here. We've got the Spec 5 Beacon. Now I had this running. Let's see where are we at first of all. 71%. That's fantastic. So I had this running in the window of the cabin uh, since Thursday. I had it standing just like this with the solar panel pointing out the window and yeah you can see 71% not bad you know these things were picking up a decent amount of traffic so there's the spec 5 the T-beam well I broke the connector here once again on the T-beam. Not that much of a surprise. You guys saw the dry solder job that I performed on this uh, using the, the pine sill without any flux. It was a pretty sloppy solder job and those joints did give some point over the weekend. So this guy spent most of the weekend in my bag. And then here I've got a T-Beam Supreme that I acquired over the course of the weekend. Thank you, Jeff. This I actually ran on my bag throughout the show uh, all day yesterday. I had it attached to my bag. It's a great little case, by the way. I'm going to talk some more about this. But uh, this did not have a, a charge on it when I acquired it. And uh, I essentially ran it off of a small power source in my backpack over the course of the, of the day, and it worked just fine. So this is the T-Beam Supreme, plugged it in overnight, and I've got a good charge at this point, and I'm going to run this today as well let's see yeah it picked up 56 nodes running around the convention center and here i'm running about 96 percent battery so this is going to be the radio for today all the rest of these are getting packed up now for the super duper winner of the weekend i've got to go to the atla box out here right where i had put it right where I left it. This, I just checked this morning, had a 97% uh, battery capacity. And this thing has been in this position, turned on pretty much since the moment I got here. And it's been running the BBS flawlessly. We've had multiple downpours, fair amount of rain, 
and that thing never moved from that spot and it just worked all weekend and that solar panel that four watt solar panel it did its job i mean that thing leveled out at 97 percent capacity and it stuck there the whole weekend so no complaints there all right well like i said it's time to pack up and get out of here so uh, i'm going to tear these down and move on to the convention center